Hi, Al. Thanks for joining us tonight. How, how did you get to become the penny pincher? Well, I started, um, I, I had run my own business and unfortunately it went bust, which wasn't very helpful um, and left me in a really bad financial situation. So I had to kind of penny pinch my way to save as much money as possible. Um, and I really struggled to find ways that I could um, you know, get help and f figure out ways in that I can save money. So um, I decided once things got a little bit better that actually I would start my own sort of blog and website. Uh, the idea being to try and help people to um, to save money and to give, basically giving hints and tips. Yeah, fantastic. So, so out of the, out of those tips that you've got in your blog, like what would you say are the top three tips for people watching or listening on radio right now that want to save some money on their weekly shop? Um, I think, first of all, yellow stickers, yellow stickers, yellow stickers. Um, I know everybody knows about yellow stickers. It is, you know, it's one of those things that people are aware of, but a lot more people now really are relying on these. Um, I worked until quite recently um, in the supermarket and my job was I was I was the yellow sticker man. So I would go out and I'd put all the stickers on things. And, you know, I started two years ago doing that job and you'd maybe get sort of 10, 20 people coming in a night. Uh, when I left the job just a couple of months ago, we were getting 50 or 60 people coming in because you could save up to 90% um of the cost of, of products and you know that's a huge amount of savings um, for people uh you know you, you know you can feed your family for very very little and if you're very you know if you think very carefully about the the food that you've got and how you can cook it and prepare it and freeze it and all these sorts of things um you know you really can save an absolute fortune so i think probably that's always going to be my number one um top, top tip uh, the second one is cashback apps um i i love cashback apps they're a really good way to save money and, and a lot of people know about them um, through, you know, you, you go and buy something big and then you buy a new TV or something, you might go through a cashback app. But um, so even when it comes to shopping in supermarkets, you can still save money. And, and a really good way of doing that um, is to um, to buy supermarket vouchers with a cashback app. So you might then potentially get sort of three, four, sometimes 5% cashback. And if you're spending maybe £100 every time you go to, you know, you, you go and buy um, products from the supermarket, now you could be saving three, four, five pounds every single time and that will really really add up so that's that's quite a massive um way of doing it and obviously the loyalty schemes as well make sure that you are using the supermarket loyalty schemes because if you're not you're missing out on potential quite big savings and that's very important um and i think one of the other things is if you're really struggling financially um there's quite a few food waste apps out there as well you've got to pick people like too good to go olio um where you can pick up um food that would normally potentially you know would be wasted or, or thrown away at the end of the night um a lot of supermarkets and restaurants now use these apps to you know basically get rid of you know items that are going to be thrown away and you might pay maybe three four pounds for you know for you know for a, what they call a, a magic bag which is a bag full of full of goodies but you might get you know 20 25 pounds worth of goods out of it so and again if you use it use it wisely you know you might be able to feed the family for a week for that so it's, they're really good ways um of saving money that's amazing, Al. I, mean, I don't understand cashback and nectar points because they've got like a business and all these employees to pay for and, you know, they are giving you money off. It's like, how are they making money to like give you money off and like pay for their employees and their overheads and all that sort of stuff? I don't know. It's some sort of Absolutely. magic. Some sort of magic, or it, possibly, it is magic. possibly it's, evil. It's, it's, it's clever. It's clever business. That's what it is. I mean, for example, if you know, if I go and buy a TV from a well-known electro electrical um, company, and um, they might give me five percent cash back on that, great. But they're probably getting ten percent cash back. So what they're doing is they're, or they're getting ten percent commission from from the retailer. So what they're doing is they're splitting that commission uh, with me, and so they, you know, they get five percent. I get 5%. So they're making money and I'm making money. And, you know, some of these cashback apps are absolutely huge. So, you know, they can have thousands of transactions going through every hour. And, you know, these will start adding up. And so that, that's how they can afford to do it. Now, like what supermarket would you say is the best supermarket to get the yellow stickers? I know Dave and Richard are, I really want to know this. And what's the best time to go as well? Okay, well, I'm going to be a bit, not to say Morrison's because that's who I worked for and that's so I know a lot about it and they they have a good reputation for you know the the better um sort of discount especially at the end of the day because I mean, basically what happens is most yellow stickers what happens is in the morning you might get a small amount off maybe 10 20 percent um and then they'll try and clear it through now later on in the day as as the day is getting towards the end maybe sort of six seven eight o'clock the supermarkets will then start saying right if I don't 
really discount these down, they're going to get thrown away. And the supermarkets don't want to do that because, you know, it's not only is the cost element, but it's, it's the hassle of having to go through the whole throwing away malarkey. So what these guys will do yeah, they is might they'll get fined do for, um, They might get fined for waste that has to be thrown away instead of, instead of sold. Al, it's been absolutely fantastic uh, listening to, you know, how we can save some money. I know I'm going to get over to Marks and Spencer's before it shuts. See if we can find some <laughs> yellow stickers. Man, I hate it when they have someone on the, the package that looks like a yellow sticker. But isn't it a yellow sticker? It guides me in like a sort of homing pigeon. <laughs> then I see it actually costs eight quid. Because Marks and Spencer's is so Cunning. expensive. Like, even with a yellow sticker, it's just normal price. But Al, thank you so much. Thanks so much for joining You're us. You're welcome, And uh, I'm going to ask you. Dave and, uh, and Richard, like, you, do you, are you a fan of a yellow sticker? What, why are they always yellow? <laughs> it's weird that there's got to be some reason. It looks like biohazards. And I don't know if that's correlation or causation. I love a yellow sticker, but I do wonder why it's always yellow. Was that sushi that you bought that gave you a horrific food <laughs> Yes. Was that yellow yeah. sticker? Actually, yeah, good point. And, and actually, there was a guy that sold it to me in a hazmat suit so it should have really you that's know. a warning sign you should have yeah. recognised straight yeah. away Dave you really should have I think I, look, I think I back to my grandmother I remember she used to use a tea bag about three times right what so for she, well to make a cup of tea oh, right. Right. oh yeah was, what do you mean what for well, I'm, I'm what kind of a question you're the one who that? eats seaweed well no I know <laughs> I'm asking that right. question so, so no she, 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 she used to make a cup like of tea filling a hot air balloon with it I don't know but she, anyway go she on. used to make a cup of tea with a tea bag and yeah. then she'd take it out and she'd leave it on the side of the yeah. sink and then she'd use it again. So she'd get three cup of teas out of one. Sensible But women. I know we're not going to laugh over this, right? But the seriousness of this is, and, you know, I loved his name as well, Al Baker. That's great, the name for the yeah. name. And if someone's looking at food, uh, reducing food prices, we're talking about this in 2022. It's an absolute disgrace. Oh, it is. You know, people are literally like, you know, they're struggling so much. And these are working. These aren't people who are bumming off the door. You yeah. know, these are people who are literally working families who are on not very well-paid yeah. jobs and they're turning to food banks. Well, they, I mean, and, and it's great what Al's doing, yeah. but we should not be in this position. What party is in power, Richard? Well, well, I'm not a conservative. <laughs> is it the Conservatives? I, I, I'm, 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 not, I, I am not I'm not with any political party, Dave, so I can right. just say what I want freely. But anyway, you walked in a trap there. Well, that's, that's why I always I, say I did, did I just I'm say? happy that, that people are struggling. No, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I mean, I think, I think it, is, it, is a, it is a shame. Like, we've yeah. got record low unemployment yeah. in the UK, yeah. incredibly low unemployment, but the flip side of that is a lot of the jobs, you know, just aren't paying enough, so people are having, yeah. having to work, like, two or three jobs to, to make ends meet, and I think it's, it's, it's a crying shame. We need to, you know, improve uh, wages in this country yeah. and, uh, and make sure... Because at the moment, the, yeah. the, the, the tra tragedy is... People, I know people in my hometown mm -hmm. who make more yeah. money on benefits yeah. than they yeah. can working. Yeah. So you I, get I, trapped I, I, on benefits. I have got friends in exactly the same position. They're making more money on a month than I, you, and myself are self-employed. Yeah. And it's just crazy. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't That's be. That's 250 like that. quid. <laughs> <laughs>